Hey everybody, happy holidays and um, Merry Christmas. And this is May's book two, chapter seven, part three. So there we were in Freddy's van and Maze came down straight away, picked a flower out of a bush on the path while behind me someone's eyes narrowed while I was busy licking up my ice cream cone as I spun it deftly between my fingers to keep it from dripping. Hello, ladies, he said as he brought his upper body down to look in on us, resting his arm on the edge of the window so that his fingers might unfurl the flower he was about to give me, when suddenly the window began going up and he had to quickly pull away so not to get his arm caught. Bless, I yelled. Oh, sorry, I hit the switch with my elbow. She sent the window back down into the door where it belonged and went back to scooping marshmallows. Maze was trying to be a gentleman and picked up the flower which he had dropped on the ground and slapped it into my palm. In return, I gave him his milkshake and he took off the lid with a straw and licked it clean. Bless saw his tongue and looked disgusted. Okay, he's got his ice cream. Can we go now, she asked. I shot her a vicious thought which made her toss her head back and laugh. Then she incinerated the flower in my palm and it was gone, which made me quite irate, but I decided to handle her later and keep my cool for now. I watched Maze, who was slurping down his milkshake with a fervor unrivaled, discarding the straw, one eye fixed pleasantly upon me the whole time. I had my hand on his forearm, which was strong, and I was skating a finger down one of his many scars. Bless tried to do the window trick again, but I anticipated her and severed the electrical with a quickness. I could hear her finger pressing the button again and again. I was about to ask Maze to hop in and ride when someone caught our attention from over by the laundromat, shouting across the drive next door. It was black. The eye which had been lovingly fixed on me suddenly rolled back and shut tight as the voice grew louder, and Maze lifted up from my window where he had been leaning and yelled back, What? God damn it, what? Black shouted something, and Maze excused himself. Bless drew an audible breath. I was half ready to get out and leave her, I really was, but I stayed. What about this girl you were talking about, milkmaid? Does she live here too, she asked, putting her hand between my legs. I quickly replaced it on the steering wheel. No, she lives down by the lake, and stop calling me milkmaid. I saw a not-so-thrilled lethargy fill her eyes as she looked over my shoulder. Honey, when are you going to lose this guy and his creepy friends? I was about to tell her I wasn't planning on losing anybody, and how dare she suggest that Malified was a friend of ours. And it's a good thing I got diverted before I told her if she really wanted to know. I thought she was jealous I was falling in love. And it's not a crime, I mean falling in love. It wasn't my fault that her last boyfriend, Everett, turned psychotic and had to be put down. But I didn't want to mention him just to hurt her. That's not nice. I sure hated it when someone who's basically single starts taking it out on you because you're in love and they're not, especially when that someone is your very best friend forever. <laughs>